aside practicing at uh, Kuona Trust, uh, way back when it was at uh, the National Museums, that was a uh, joint Kuona Trust in 1996. So I have been in the sector for very long, for close to 20 years. I'm 22. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but one of the things that uh, triggered me to um, to uh, establish an art outlet was that as a young artist being at uh, Kuona Trust then, it was so, so difficult to get my work to be seen in the places that I needed it to be seen. And uh, as you all know, I don't know how many of you find it very easy to just take your work somewhere and one of the places, oh yes, nice. I can sell this for you. So for me it was such a challenge taking my work to any outlet to sell. And at that time there was only Gallery Watatu and uh, maybe Sakran Gallery, which was an Indian um, gallery along Mamagina Street. And then of course the National Museums of Kenya. And one of the things that these outlets needed was that your work had to really be fantastic compete with the other ones. So you can imagine you're a very young artist, uh, you're just starting and uh, you're hoping that your work is going to be shown in a gallery and uh, you take your work and it's rejected. And most of the time you're not told why it is rejected. And for me that really triggered um, me to have an interest in knowing how is it that I can help artists like me uh, establish outlets or get to know outlets where they can take their work. So, um, as a business model, what I decided was that I am going to make sure that my work is exemplar. If I'm going to take my work to any gallery or to any outlet, it's going to be competing there with other works. So I need to make sure that my work is really good. And uh, for that, I had to train myself. I had to make sure that I have a keen eye on what is going on. And just to also do research, what is out there, what are people looking for? And um, it was just not going to those outlets to see what is there. It was also just getting to know <clears throat> the kind of things that are out, out there, outside my Kenyan domain. What else is out there that can sell? Because you can imagine the people who come to buy your work, most of the time they are tourists and expatriates. But uh, I'd like to encourage us not to look only at that market, but there's also the Kenyan market. And most of the time people look at Kenyan products and say, ah, I am Kenyan, I am Chinese. Yeah. But what I decided was that I'm going to make sure that if I'm going to set up an outlet, it's going to be professional, I'm going to make money out of it, and I'm going to make sure the people who bring the work know that know what kind of quality the work is doing.